Hi, I'm Kaylee Alyssa, and I'm here to show you guys how to properly do child's pose. We're going to be walking through a really quick tutorial um, about all the subtleties of the posture. This is one of the best and most important postures in practice because it allows us a moment or two to sort of check in with the breath, with the body, as well as rest when we need rest. So it's one of the most advanced postures that you need to know for your yoga practice. So subscribe to our channel and let's get started. So there are a few different variations of child's pose that you can do, and it just kind of depends on your body and what feels best for you. So I'm gonna show you a few of these variations. First one being starting with your knees together, your hips on your heels. Now this could already be an issue for those of you who have knee issues or who might have extremely tight hips. So I have a block here, and I'm just gonna put the block between my butt and my heels just to kind of create a little bit more space and less pressure in that extreme flexion of the knee. So, and then from here, you can take your hands out in front of you and just start to walk your way forward. Now, your arms can be straight out in front of you, elbows resting on the mat, forehead on the ground. Or, if it's too much to have your forehead all the way down, you could take another block and just kind of rest your forehead on the block here. Elbows would be lifted, palms pushing down into the mat. So this is a really nice version. It kind of supports my rib cage with my thighs, feels really good in my back body. I'm not causing any stress in the back. And I'm always allowed to let the elbows relax if I need to rest in this position. So this is a really good first option for child's pose. Second option being spreading the knees wide apart. So extended child's pose with the knees spread and the feet together might be a better option for you if you have a little bit more area in your midsection here. It just allows for more space. Your torso can dip down inside of the thighs and it could be more comfortable for you and your body. Again, if you have any sort of pain in the knee, you might wanna elevate the hips a little bit here, take some of the pressure out of that flexion of the knee and then walk your way forward. So same thing here, you could have the other block under your forehead, you could just kind of have your chest resting down, your head resting down on the ground. So this is extended child's pose. Now in these variations, you're always welcome to sort of wrap your hands back by your ankles as well and just have the forehead resting. It's a little bit more comfortable to do so in that traditional child's pose variation, balasana, with your knees together. And I'm just gonna remove the block from behind me and let my arms wrap down. This variation allows the shoulders just to kind of rest and relax. So be mindful here that you're not pulling or holding the shoulders back, that you could let them drape down to the mat. And this would be a really good option for you if you've done a lot of shoulder work, maybe inversion work in class, and you need to give the shoulders and the arms a rest, you could do that variation. Now I'm gonna show you one other version here using the pillows. So you could use pillows at home if you have bolsters, this is also a great option. For this version, it's extended, so the knees wide, the pillows would come right up close here in between your legs. And this is more of a restorative version, so if you were gonna be in child's pose for a longer extended period of time, you would take this version. So I'm just gonna sort of walk my way forward so that my torso can rest on the pillows instead of my thighs, and I'm gonna kinda hug the pillows with my arm, and then you would allow your head to turn in either direction. You could look to the right or to the left and just kind of rest your head on the, on the pillows here. Now this is really nice because you're fully supported and you can stay in that position for longer periods of time. Awesome, if you have the time, do this version. This is so good and it feels really nice on your body. So, child's pose, there you have it. All different variations, whatever suits your body is the one that you're gonna go for. And it might change from time to time. If you have a shoulder injury or something, then you might do a different version of child's pose. But Hopefully you guys got some useful tips. We'll see you back here next time at Aloe Yoga.